Hey guys, today we're going to address some common myths around the use of water bowls for hamsters. As I'm currently using both bowls and bottles for nitrogen, I've been hearing a lot of these misconceptions lately. Myth number one, hamsters will sit in or drown in their water bowls. Both of these concerns are based on a little bit of reality, but they're also both easy to avoid. If you provide a hamster with a bowl that is too big for them, then there is a risk that they may climb into it, which is a problem because the natural protective oils on a hamster's fur break down very easily in water. That's one of the reasons why hamsters cannot be bathed in water. To prevent this from happening, all you need to do is ensure your hamster has the right sized bowl. It doesn't need to be any larger than 5 centimeters in diameter. That size is plenty big enough for any species of hamster. As for the risk of drowning, it can happen, but it is extremely uncommon, especially in healthy adult hamsters. The risk is greater for hamsters under five weeks old or hamsters who are very frail. This is mainly because if they fall into the bowl, it's much harder for them to get out again. But again, making sure the bowl is an appropriate size will significantly reduce the risk of this happening. Myth number two, water bowls will give hamsters wet tail. This myth is actually based around a different myth that claims that water is the cause of the disease wet tail, which it isn't. Wet tail is a bacterial disease in Syrian hamsters that is triggered by stress. I've already made a video discussing this myth in greater detail, which I recommend watching and I'll link it in the description box below. But the short answer is no, having a water bowl will not lead to your hamster getting wet tail. Myth number three. Hamsters don't know how to use bowls and they'll die of dehydration. In the wild, hamsters will either find their water on the ground in the form of puddles or in the form of water droplets on plant leaves and grass. Water bottles are a little more representative of the latter, whereas water bowls are more like the former, so most hamsters should be able to use both bowls and bottles with no problems. In fact, water bowls are often slightly easier for hamsters to use because it allows their head and neck to sit in a natural angle while they drink, whereas water bottles are often placed at incorrect angles that require hamsters to move into unnatural natural positions to use them. Bottles and bowls both have their pros and cons, but there's no reason why a healthy hamster wouldn't be able to easily drink from both. If you've been considering using a water bowl, but you've been worried about any of the things mentioned today, rest assured that these are nothing more than myths and misconceptions. Bowls aren't guaranteed to be the best solution for every individual, but they are definitely worth giving a go because you may find that your hamster prefers using them a lot more. In the meantime though, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!